didn't get a chance to film this whole thing, so I kind of jumping in halfway through. Uh, the young fellow's going off to university and he needs a guitar today. So I don't usually do rush jobs like this, but he's a really, really good customer, really nice guy, and uh, we want to get this done for him. So uh, missing a little bit filming wise, but uh, as you can see, it's kind of an Epiphone J200. And uh, I've got all that soft plastic inlay masked off so we don't scratch it. The second time was 600 and I'm bringing in for a closer look. There was quite a bit of discrepancy, as you know, at the neck joint. Now, I'll show you when I pull this thing apart. I've already got the compensated nut blade cut out, so I'll bring you in for a closer look when we get on the home stretch with that. So Uh, just a quick word to uh, Calvin uh, from Texas, one of the latest GPS purchasers. I know Calvin, you were you were looking at getting a, a die grinder. Uh, just a word of warning: um, you want to adjust the air on the die grinder so it is not infinite torque. So if I do this, if I push, if I push down, it stops. You don't want that much torque. The other thing is, we've got plastic binding here. You really got to keep the tool moving. Don't linger over that plastic or you'll burn through it. Well, that's not just for Kelvin, it's for all you guys, but here we go. So now I've got my J200 reusable fretting guard. So these are the guards that you get in your kit. So I had the guitar kind of jacked up like this because I needed it to be dead level while I filled in that chip in the soundboard. Now we're on the home stretch. Let's get some strings. We've got that thickness now for a nice press fit, not too tight. It does need to rest firmly on that pickup. So just to keep us on track, I'm going to mark the center of each of the strings so we know where we're supposed to take the material off. So this was our next stage of intonating. We brought that low E right to the back. We brought the A back quite a bit. The D had to come back four cents, and that's what I took it back. In fact, what I'll do is I'll mark a line, because I'm going to clean this saddle up now. I think we pretty well got it. We'll do our final check. So that is the sort of topographic map that we have on the focal point all the way across that saddle now. So I'm going to clean this up now. We're going to string it up again, and we'll check the tuning one more time. Okay, that's what we got now. We got it really close that time. So just that A string has got to come back three cents. And then, and only then, we're on to the compensated nut. And this is the wrap up. So this is the cantilevered compensated saddle. The low E is going back as far as it can possibly go. There was no way that within the confines of the original routed slot that that G string or the D string would ever be in tune. The B was just at the leading edge and the high E was just beyond the leading edge. So There was no way around it with this guitar. For it to play in tune, which it plays perfectly in tune and you're going to hear it in a second when I play it in the studio, these alterations needed to be made. At the other end, now these are an 11 to 52 custom light string and these are the compensation values for this scale length. So for the first time since this guitar was manufactured, it will play flawlessly, perfectly in tune. And of course the action is way down from where it was. It was you need a vice grip for a left hand to play this thing the way it was before. Now it's silky smooth, perfectly in tune. Let's bring it into the studio and check it out. I did have to fast track this one. It had to get done today because the young fellow's off to university and he's taking it with him and he's leaving a distance tomorrow morning first thing. So I didn't get to show all the detail that I was hoping but I think you got a pretty good gist of what went on here to make this thing perfectly in tune. Let's have a listen. <laughs> So 
So first of all, there's our compensated nut and that is the final compensated saddle. Frets are dressed. So I'm just going to play through this a little bit and let you hear it. So I've got this I'll just kind of let that play and then blow over top. I've got to find a pick here somewhere. I'll just use my fingers for now. Okay, here we go. Tense. 